Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it'd be fun to walk through my makeup routine slash get ready with me and a little bit of a Q&A so you guys get to know me a little bit better. So to start off, this is my makeup bag and it has my initials SBS along with a bunch of other makeup stains. Um, one of my best friends, Megan, got this for me, which was so sweet of her. It's like the perfect bag. And she got it from um, a company that she used to work, work for, which was really cool, and got it for me for my birthday, which was super duper nice. So to start my makeup, I go in with the NYX Honey Do Me Up primer. And I don't know if I really like this primer too much. It's kind of like gelatin I don't really know how to describe it but usually I'll do like a little fingers worth and then I just put it and I tap it in my skin and it's not like super sticky which I like even though it's like I don't know I don't really know how to describe it I don't know if it's my favorite I don't think I'll be buying it again I definitely want to try a different primer um, just because I feel like this one isn't like very tacky, which I feel like my makeup would be better if I had um, a tackier base, just so it would sit on my skin a little bit better. Because I feel like by the end of the day when I do my makeup, it's kind of gone and I feel like that's because of this primer. <coughs> and so yeah, there I am primed. And this is my makeup routine for like not every day. This is like when I'm going out to a nice dinner or if I'm going out for the night or like a birthday or just something nicer. Um, if I was doing just my everyday routine, I'd probably only do my brows, some cream blush and mascara. And that's if just an everyday kind of normal routine. And then what can, then I go in with my concealer and I've been liking the ColourPop line. I've been liking everything of ColourPop. If you guys haven't tried ColourPop stuff before, I would definitely recommend it. It's very affordable, I think. And they do have some really nice makeup and just like fun colors. And I feel like for not like makeup artists, but kind of an everyday wear, they have really great stuff. And I kind of do my foundation. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm getting a call. Okay, I'm back, and like I was saying, I just finished priming my face, and next I'm going in with the Pretty Fresh ColourPop Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. And I know a lot of people like to do their foundation or BB cream and then their concealer, but I do mine a little differently, and I like to go in with my concealer underneath my foundation just because I kind of use foundation not to um, brighten my face, but kind of to cover um, whatever dark circles and dark spots I have on my face because I have really bad under eye bags, like genetically. So I usually kind of like wipe the excess off so there's not a ton of product on. And then I'll just go in and dot on my face where I'm having either like redness or some darkness and yeah. So usually I get like all the dark spots on my cheek and then maybe just a little bit on my forehead. And then I'll always go in with a little dot in the corner of my eyes and a little bit underneath just because like I said, I do have really bad eye bags. And then usually I'll do like a line going up from my eye just because I really like that snatched kind of look. And I usually do that by the placement of my concealer and of my um, bronzer and blush placement. So now that I have my concealer all over my face, I'm going to go in with my favorite brush which is um, the Real Techniques brush. It's like a foundation brush. I don't know the rest of the name of it, but I know it's by Real Techniques. Expert face brush, that's what it's called. And I'm just gonna go in and buff this all out and blend it all in. 
until a lot of the redness and darkness is corrected. So when that is all rubbed in, I'll be back. Okay, so now it's all, for the most part, pretty much blended in and my skin looks just a little bit more evened out. And then I might go in with a little bit more on top of my foundation. And for the foundation that I wanna be using today is another ColourPop, which I love because I don't like super heavy full coverage foundations and I never have and I don't know if I really ever will. Um, so this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer and these I'm pretty sure from the same line. And this is the color um, Medium Nine Warm and I really like that it has this little um, spout to get out the product and sometimes I'll put a bunch of it like on the back of my hand and then put it in but I also just like to use the dotting technique um, just by like placing dots of it kind of all over my face with my fingers and then I'll go in and use that same real techniques brush to buff it out and blend it in so I'm just gonna apply this and I'm kind of gonna talk to you guys and get into my Q&A, kind of get to know me. So as you guys know, my name is Skylar and my parents got that name by picking it out of a hat in the hospital. Um, my birthday is July 3rd and that makes me a cancer. Um, I think for the most part, I'm a pretty, I fit the ideals or like characteristics of a cancer pretty much to a T, but I'm not really into astrology that much. So I'm not sure how much I really fit it, but that's what I am. Um, I'm from Newport Beach, California, which is like about 40 minutes from LA and it's right next to Huntington Beach and Laguna Beach. And this is my favorite place in the entire world. I love where I grew up and home so much. And I'm really glad that I grew up here. Um, I played water polo and swam all throughout high school. Those were my two big sports. I have been playing water polo for like eight years. And now I go to school at the University of Southern California and I'm studying psychology. And I live obviously in LA in an apartment with a bunch of other girls. And yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, my childhood pet was a dog named, a golden retriever named Dax. And he was like literally my best friend growing up. Um, yeah, so that's just a little bit of getting to know me. So by now my tinted moisturizer is for the most part like all blended in. So I'm just gonna go back in with this ColourPop um, concealer just to brighten some spots on my face. Just under my eyes once again, just because they're so dark and Maybe just a little bit above my lip. But for the most part, I think that's gonna be good for my base. So after this is blended in, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my base is kind of all on, I'm done with my tinted moisturizer and my concealer. And then I kind of like to set my face um, before moving on and doing anything else. And so I'm just gonna take like a powder, like complexion brush. And this is a new powder that I just got. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. And I've heard a lot of things about it, but I've never tried it. I was using a little Kat Von D um, setting powder that I got in Ipsy bag. And I actually just ended up not really liking it. I don't think it really did much for my skin. Um, I do get really kind of oily in my T-zone and I kind of just like to have a matter look a lot of the time, even though I'm trying to embrace the glowy look. Um, and I don't really like the feeling of makeup on my skin, even though I like to do my makeup. And I really like this powder so far that I've used it and I kind of just brush it all over my face. And I'm in, I'm using the 
I'm using the shade 130 Buff Beige. And then I'll just go back in with just a little bit more on my brush and really get my nose and in between my eyebrows and my forehead and my chin, because that's where I get the oiliest. And for me, that's pretty good with setting my face. And so I'm done with that. And then next I'm gonna show you what I like to use for bronzer. I don't cream contour, but that's something that I wanna try soon. So I either go in with the fan favorite, which I've had since like si seventh grade, the Hula Bronzer. Um, I've used this so many times and I've gotten it so many different times. And I've used a good amount of it, but I do really love it and I feel like the color is always fitting for me. And the other bronzer that I'll use that I've been using lately is a Physician's Forma Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Brazilian Glow. And I really like this one, but this one definitely is a sparklier, kind of shinier um, compared to the Hula Bronzer. So I'll basically just do this across my forehead, on my nose, pretty high up on my cheekbones because like I said, I don't want it too far down because I really do like the snatched look and then underneath my jawline. So I'm gonna do that. And then going back to getting to know me, I'm the youngest of four kids. I have two brothers and a sister and they're all much, much older than me. Um, my favorite color is pink and light blue. Those are my two favorites. Um, my favorite animals are either sharks or I also really like monkeys. I don't know why, but I love like any type of monkey or really any type of shark. Um, I first, all right, I just got into traveling. Like my entire family has been traveling for, okay, let me rephrase that. Um, I just went on my first solo trip and I have been getting really into traveling. And if you guys have seen my other videos, you know that I went to Paris in August and I'm gonna have another video coming out about the best places to go in Paris um, pretty shortly. But I had, that was my first time in Europe and my first solo trip, which was really cool. And I'm planning a few other trips. Hopefully I'll be going to Seattle soon. And then I also wanna go to New York. I've been dying to go to New York and then hopefully back to Europe. I kind of went at a great time during COVID where the restrictions weren't really that like insane. So I was lucky about that. So now I've just bronzed my face and I love to look tan and I usually get really tan in the summers. So I kind of like to fake it during the winter times where I'm a little bit paler with kind of a lot of bronzer. I don't know if you can really see it that well on camera but it does make me look very like sun-kissed um, in real life, which I'm happy about. That's why I really like, I that's probably like my favorite product that I use. And then next step in the makeup routine is blush. And I've just recently been getting into blush and I actually love it. I didn't use it for years growing up and I'm now obsessed with it. So I rotate between a few different blushes. This is another ColourPop product that I'm obsessed with. And this is what I was talking about when I'll do like kind of an everyday routine. Um, when I'll literally just put this like right on over my moisturizer and it blends in so, so well. This is the blush sticks in the color Cool It. And I just think it is such a pretty like pink and it goes just really well with my skin tone, I feel like. But I'll usually do this on like more casual days. Um, the other one that I'm in love with is Lottie, like the... It's called the brand, the brand's called Lottie, but it kind of um, wore off in the shade Red Hot. And I really do like that it's kind of gradient just because this appears a little bit too harsh for my liking. And so I'll just kind of put this brush, I think it's from e.l.f., which is a great angled brush that I use for blush and just dab it on like this and it goes on really pretty. And then the other one is, um, is Complex Culture in the shade um, Good Glow Blush Spiced Up. And this one's kind of like a harsher, kind of like deep toned one compared to the ColourPop one. And this one's kind of intense, but I really like it. But today I'm going to go in with the Lottie one. And I'm just gonna take my brush 
and I'm gonna dab it like that. Okay, sorry, my phone, I just got a call, so it kind of ended the video, but like I said, I'm just gonna go in and take my brush long ways and put it in, and I've recently been putting my blush higher up on my cheekbone, and also kind of dragging it by my eyebrow and into my hairline, and just really buffing it out, and Lottie is actually like super duper pigmented, which is cool and great because I don't really have to use that much product. And then I'll also sweep it a little bit like across the bridge of my nose because I do like that sun-kissed kind of glowy look. And just like a little bit on my forehead just to kind of blend all the colors in together. Oh, I just love blush now. And I've also been putting it, like I said, higher up on my cheek and blending it really well into my bronzer. And then once I'm done with my blush, I'll go back in with the same brush that I used for my bronzer and just go over that area again, just to make sure that it's all nice and blended in. Just like that. And then another fun part of my routine is going in with highlight. And I've been using this one that I also got by the brand Sophia and Mabel. And I really like this one. It's in the color Champagne Toast. And this one's kind of cool because it's not just a powder. It's like almost wet, which I like. I think it sits on the skin really pretty because it's not like chalky. It's like literally called wet glow. And I think it just goes on a lot better. So I'll take a fan brush, which I know a lot of people don't like to use, but I really like using it for my highlighter. And then I'll go just on the tip of my nose and up a little bit just so gets the whole bridge of my nose kind of sparkly over my lips and then of course just on my cheekbone just like that just a little bit this specific um highlighter is really shiny and pigmented too and then I also just saw a tiktok where a girl highlighted I don't know who it is but her jaw bone and I think that looks really pretty for nighttime so I'll just put like a little bit on there so like when light catches it, it'll look really sparkly and I really like that. So that is basically it for my face makeup. Oh, I forgot one step. This is a concealer perfecting brush, but I actually kind of use it to contour my nose a little bit. And I usually don't like contour my nose crazy, but I'll just stick it in my bronzer a little bit and I'll just kind of carve out the sides of it and bring it up to my eyebrow bone. I feel like it just gives it like a little bit more color and like I'm not sure but I do like the way it looks yeah so basically that's it for my face and then I'll go in with the ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist and another ColourPop product which I'm just obsessed with it's like coconutty and like it actually has been making my foundation and like makeup just be set all day, which I really like. So I'll just go in with a few spritz of that. Okay, so I've set my face and then I'm just gonna let this dry really quick. The next thing I like to go in with is with the e.l.f. Wow Brow. And I've also used, um, what is it? The Benefit Give Me Brow, Give Me Brow. And I just don't really like this one as much as this one, but I'm still looking for a better one. This doesn't really have like make my brows stay all day, but if I'm just going to dinner or something, it does a pretty good job. And I kind of like that fluffy, people were doing like the soap brow, and I really like that fluffy look. So I kind of just brush all my brow hairs up. And I also don't like them to be super like pigmented, so I don't fill them in or anything because I already kind of have like thick brows and like full ones. So I just kind of like brushing them all up and then maybe out a little bit at the end. So I'm just gonna do that on both eyes really quick. So there we go, those are the brows. And then next I'll go in and curl my eyelashes. I'll just take this, I'm not sure who this is by, but I think I just got it at Target and it has been the best. Um, eyelash curler I've ever used. I wish I could remember the brand. It might just be e.l.f. or something, but it does a really good job of like holding a curl all day long. So I'm just gonna curl those and I'll usually like curl them as I go up. 
I don't know why, but I just feel like if that makes them not go as straight out and just like helps them curl better all day. And I'll usually just do a few seconds like on each eye. So now that they're curled, if I'm going to do um, eyeshadow, which for today, I think I'm just gonna put some bronzer in my crease and maybe a little bit of sparkles. I've had this palette forever and I actually think it's a pretty good one because I kind of like the sparkly um, look on my eye compared to just a total um, matte one. So this is a Tarte palette. I'm not sure what it's called, but I've had it for a while and it has all these like pretty pinks and I really like that. So I think for today, I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and go back into my butter bronzer once again and just kind of take that and get the excess off and just go in my crease and kind of all over my lid just so. See, I feel like this, this side gives me a lot more color with just a little bit of bronzer on it. So I'm just going to go in and kind of take that everywhere. Just like that. Just put some more color on my face. And then I'm gonna go in with either a smaller brush and a flatter brush, like this one. This one's from e.l.f. and it's an eyeshadow C brush. And it's just flatter and more dense. And this is when I like to take kind of a shimmer shade and I think I'm gonna go in for good vibes. And I'll just pack it on my brush like that. And then I'll just sweep it across my lid like halfway like that and i just think it's kind of a pretty shimmer especially like towards the afternoon when it's about to be golden hour and i'll just do that and then maybe i'll take another color that's like a little bit darker and then just kind of put it over the rest of my lid i never really do any crazy makeup or eyeshadow looks i just kind of like the simple pretty shimmery look with a little bit of pink usually. And then sometimes I'll go in with like a really light shade on the top of this brush and just sweep it in my inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. And that's kind of it for my eyeshadow, the extent of my eyeshadow. Um, and then if it's late or like I'm going out to a party or something, I'll take uh, like a um, small angled brush like this and I'll usually take some either brown or black eyeshadow and draw on a wing, but I'm not gonna be doing that today because I'm not going out anywhere. This is just for fun. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is my mascara. And I'm just gonna show you guys some of my favorites right now. I have been a big fan of the Milk Kush Mascara. Some people don't like it, but it's always worked really well for me, like especially my bottom lashes. And then I've also been a really, really big fan of Tarte um, mascara, especially this Man Eater one. I don't know when it came out, but I think it just does the best for my eyelashes. So I'm gonna do my eyelashes off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm done with my mascara and I'm a really big fan of like the huge lashes. Like I'll never do false lashes, but I do really like having mascara like layers of it and just like on my top and bottom lashes and then i bought this really cool little tool that's an eyelash separator so if your um mascara looks a little bit clumpy you just like comb it through your lashes and i think it does a really good job of separating your lashes so they don't look clumpy which is really awesome so that's it for my eyes and then the last thing i like to do in my makeup routine is lips and i have always been a huge huge lip product girl like i'm obsessed with chapstick and lip gloss and i had never been into um lipstick but my one of my roommates gave me this milani lipstick in the shade lingerie and i have been a huge fan of it it's not like super harsh and i like to just like dot it on my lips and i'll always put on chapstick or off before beforehand just because i kind of like the wet look so with like chapstick on i'll just go in and dot it and it doesn't make a huge difference but my lips aren't really that pigmented to begin with so i'll just go in and do a little bit of dotting just like this 
and I already think that's made a big difference. And then I'll just really rub it in there. And then I love lip gloss, as I was saying, and I have been obsessed with the Ulta lip gloss lip oil. And I actually think it's a really good dupe for the Dior lip oil. Um, I have this one and this one's the pumped up gloss. So it's a, um, what's it called? It's a plumping lip gloss, which I like. I think it's in the shade Sugar Plum or something like that. Sugar something, I think. But today I'm gonna be going in with just the normal juice infused lip oil. And this one's in the shade Red Apple Palm Rouge, which I really like. And it, I really like the flat applicator. I think that, I don't know. I just think it goes on my lips really well. And I think it comes out so pretty. So I'm just gonna. Put it everywhere. Just like this. And I actually think this lip oil with that specific shade of lipstick is like so gorgeous. And I've used this so many times, it's actually like turning my lip oil a little bit pinker, which I actually really like. And there it is. I think it just really like brightens up my lip and I just think it looks so nice and pretty and pink which is my favorite kind of look and then usually i'll just go back in with another spritz or two of um my setting spray but that is my makeup routine and it doesn't take me usually too long like half an hour if i'm not really trying but thank you guys so much for watching me do my makeup routine and share a little bit about me and I hope to see you in my next few um, YouTube videos. Thank you for watching.